hopefully I'm on camera here. So, as followers of my videos know, um, one of the things that's been the hardest to deal with for thermal is hands, face. So, I was trying to come up with an idea. I saw these in my house. I'm like, I haven't tried these. Let's try these. First, an Israeli gas mask. Um, as people who watched other videos of mine know, ski goggles, shooting glasses, do a great job of blocking that heat around the eyes. And if they work, why wouldn't these? So, I haven't tested this before. This is a uh, beta right now on film. So let's see what happens. I have no idea if this is gonna heat up from exhausting. I'm trying to do some deep breaths right now. Let's see if I can artificially elevate it a little bit faster. But uh, no, this is one option um, I hadn't really considered before. Now, obviously, paired with a, a nice helmet, ear protection, a neck gaiter, just kind of shut down the rest of that thermal. It's always the eyes and the face that are the problem. So, I'm very curious how this works. Also, I don't know if it's going to make a difference. Let's try it with a, an actual canister in here. Alright, I may have to edit some of this for a time lapse. There we go, finally got it. Alright, so now we have a canister attached. I don't know if that's going to make a difference or not. So anyway, that's the Israeli. And that is just a standard Israeli civilian gas mask. Used to be able to buy them for like 20 bucks with spare canisters. Now, with the state of the world, they're up to like 80. But, uh, then there's this one. This is an MSA Advantage 1000. Um, these typically run around 500 bucks for comparison. Also, 40 millimeter NATO threaded. Um, if you buy it straight over the counter, it accepts the MSA bayonets. Uh, it's a specialty thing. But you can get this little adapter piece here and then screw on the 40 millimeter standard NATO canisters like this one straight onto it. See? The uh, cool thing about the MSAs is the canister is off to the side so it doesn't interfere with your uh, sight picture. So, you go get your sight picture, canister's out of the way. Very useful. They're also flexible. A lot of people don't realize that about the MSAs. They're very flexible, so if you're having trouble getting a cheek weld, they can actually press into it. But yeah, just fun stuff, neither here nor there. I don't know if this is starting to heat up at all. Let's see. And then uh, we'll also try it without the canister. Again, I doubt it's going to make any difference, but worth trying. I'm very curious how this works because this has been one of the big problem areas with thermal is getting that face heat block. Now sometimes thermals see through you know certain polys so I'm very curious because I think these are polycarbonate lens. This is some other because these are rigid they have no flex at all to them. This is very soft and pliable so these are two different types of plastics here. And uh, I have noticed that with the thermals, it will see through some plastics. You know, like some of the, uh, the building type plastics that you use in a, you know, sealing a house, um, garbage bags, some of those kind of things, the thermals can just see right through like they're not even there. And some of them it's completely blocked. So I have no idea how effective these are going to be, being two different types of plastics. Oh, this will be interesting for me to see as well. So. That's, that's them, so you can see a close-up on the camera. The Israeli and the MSA Advantage 1000. And the MSA Millennium is the military version of this. 
it's got a uh, gray around it. Um, and it's got a little piece down here with a little bit of a extra like voice amplifier thing. Um, I have one of those too, but they're, they look almost identical. They function identical. They feel identical. So I didn't bother bringing that one out. Um, and they, they too run about 500 bucks. So that's the, uh, the gamut. All right. So here's the MSA Millennium that I was talking about right next to the uh, MSA Advantage 1000. You can see they're, they're set up very, very similarly. Um, the Millennium is a native 40 millimeter NATO, whereas the Advantage has to have the adapter installed to accept 40 millimeter NATOs. Uh, but otherwise, they're incredibly similar um, in every respect. So, yeah. And then the Millennium has this little protector on the face, but it's just as flexible as the Advantage. And even the protector is slightly flexible. And then this is the uh, Israeli adult. And this is the Israeli child. So you can just kind of see the, uh, the difference in size between the two. And all of these will work in conjunction with ballistic ACH. You can tell from the thickness on that sucker. That's, that's a ballistic, ballistic ACH or a ballistic fast. Again, you can tell from the thickness that's a ballistic helmet. Um, so fast and ACH both work in conjunction with any of these masks. And these are just a few of the canisters, just a standard um, old school CSCN rated riot canister, the Israeli kind of surplus, and then full on NBC rated uh, canisters that I keep in vacuum seal until I actually need them. Um, these are just day to day for you know, chemical munitions, um, smokes, you know, that kind of stuff. That's for when you really need the big guns. And I've got a, a bunch of these on the shelf and back. Um, yeah, you just kind of get the difference between them. And like I said, the, the difference between these is incredibly minimal. So whatever this shows on thermal, this should as well. Whatever the adult shows, the kids should as well. And then using the, the helmets to cover up the heat of the rest of the head. So.